Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, playing volume two. Welcome to a new setup. I'm trying something different. Um this is Digimon Digital Card Battle. It looks like crap because this is a PS1 game. But hey. If it works, if this works, and it looks good, and it's not like laggy as shit or disgusting, there's a lot more stuff we can potentially do. But for now, let's name our guy. We're gonna be Doggo, as the name of my wonderful Twitch channel, Doggo Skilla. So, this will be us. Now we get to choose our starter between some of the characters you could you see in uh, Digimon Adventure 02 with Davis, Cody, and Yoli. You can choose Vimon, the aggressive dinosaur. It's aggressive. It's red. That's what they are. Uh, then there is it's Fire and Darkness, very offensive deck. Likes to hit hard. Hawkmon which has nature and rare. It focuses more on digivolving quickly and drawing. And our Dillamon, which is a rare only deck that's very tanky. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually go into, um, I don't know. I, I, th I think we're gonna go with, uh, the Hawkmon. No. I'm gonna go Armadillomon. So, the reason why I'm, I'm going with Armadillomon instead of Hawkmon or Vmon, I've played through the game with Hawkmon and Vmon and it's really easy. So, I wanted to try something different. Try and play through with, uh, a different character. So, that's what we're gonna do. But, I'm not going to be doing tutorial stuff. Uh, whenever I can skip tutorial, that's what we're gonna do. And as you guys can see, I don't have any save data on this, as I have a new setup. So, I have a new save. <laughs> so, for me, on this setup, this will be a completely new experience. Everything will be new, it'll be different to see how it runs, all that good stuff. Uh, something else I wanted to talk about that's actually kind of Digimon-esque. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, July 28th, there is a Digimon-based thing. And, uh, you, you'll, if you watch or whatever, you'll, you can learn about more information on Digimon Survive. The new game coming to PS4, which unfortunately it's being delayed until 2020 instead of this year. Uh, the new Digimon stuff, wherever you may enjoy it. And uh, it'll also be... there. Maybe they'll show off you know, like another game that's coming out for Digimon, like a, a temporary thing. Like maybe it's a big DLC or something, who knows. But for now, I figure if I can do this and this works the way I want it to, then um, I can have other things going for days where nobody's online and it's just not quite a stream day, you know? So, instead of it being like, oh, it's, it's t Tuesday or Thursday or whatever, we're not doing anything today. Uh, we'll have some of these videos recorded, if this works. Plus, it'll give me a lot more I can do, because I won't just be limited to, um, PS4, I, uh, or PS3, but because I have a new setup, I can't actually record PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii stuff anymore, so I'll have to wait until I can get a new, uh, capture card. It'll happen eventually. Probably next year. Um, but for now, I have to remember the controls because it's been a hot minute since I played this. But you know what? Let's do one of the most important things. What the hell does our deck look like? <laughs> I 
because this is something you should always look at in a card game. Ooh, we actually have a lot of blue. We've got blue, so water, slash ice, and rare. So, my plan, as horrible as it is, is try to abuse these, because these have a lot of health. These have very interesting effects, but they don't really give you a lot of eight, like you don't, like, these have 500 each, you. Uh, these have 580, 470, 550, and then our guy has 650. But blue, 720, 710, 680, 1250, 780, 700, 700, 750. So we're gonna wanna be, have to use a lot of the tankier guys. Um, but we're also going to try and get as many cards as we can. Um, but unfortunately, as I, like I said, I got a new setup, so I can't actually play the PS1 game on the PS1. So we'll have to do it this way, using an emulator. Oh no, emulator! Ah, it's so taboo! Um, also, this game isn't available on PlayStation 4. If it was, we would be streaming it. Uh, definitely. Because I've noticed there's a lot of... Uh, older games coming to PS4, like Star Ocean Till the End of Time is on PS4. Uh, Spyro Reignited is on the PS4 with all three Spyro games. The Crash Insane Trilogy, CTR, Nitro Fueled. Like, we've got some old PS1 and PS2 games coming to the PS4. So why not some of the lesser known ones? Why not, like, the older Yu-Gi-Oh games? It's just a little new spin on it, just to spice it up. Uh, or some of the Digimon games, like, this one's really good. Maybe Digimon Adventure, or Digimon World 3. Or if you want to hate us, Digimon World 4. <laughs> the Hater Squad, like, give us some, something different, some, some more stuff. Looks like our first turn is gonna have a whole lot of, a whole lot of yellow. But... There is something good about this that we can do. Colored Sparkle. So, the, here's a quick rundown while I'm playing. Uh, the way it works is we've got our guy as a rookie. They've got their guy as a rookie. We have three different kinds of attacks. We've got our circle, which usually hits really hard. Our triangle, not as hard, but it doesn't have as many counters. And our X, it doesn't, with the exception of certain blue cards, it don't hit for shit, but, but, it does tend to have an effect. So in our case, uh, whatever their circle attack is, goes down to zero, which is pretty nice, not gonna lie. Um, and then we have our support card, so for me in that instance, I got, um, I need to look at his name because I don't remember. But first, let's throw out Hagurumon. Uh, Mojiamon. We got Mojiamon, his support effect will cover 200 HP. Ace. And then, there are certain cards that are strictly support, like these are support cards that only support. They don't do anything else. And then, there are cards like Agumon, where it's a support card, but it's also an actual creature. Gaborimon sucks. There are certain cards that don't do anything though, so that's some that's good mind as we go. Hey, and I took out his Kokutorimon. Or Akutorimon, I don't know. So this is what we're this is our plan for the run. Is if I can actually do the entire run. Try and be smart with our card selection. Don't just toss out random crap and see what happens. Try and actually learn. <laughs> Try to be good. Alright, so this time we're gonna keep this one. We're gonna keep our Automamon because we actually want to use him. Opponent's HP becomes the same as own. 
my attack power becomes zero. That would be fine if I had something like a, a crash or a counter. But as I don't, we're going to put Madoki Betamon in there. And we're going to use Health Kick. The downside is... If he hits me with this attack, we lose. <laughs> okay, that was a weird instance. He dropped his... He, he played a card that would have made his uh, circle 300. And then he didn't use circle? I don't sense me very well. Maybe I can get lucky and I can win without... I was going to say win without ever having to swap my, my Digimon out, but no, Numamon is dead. It's very, very dead. But hey, we can get out Shellmon. So we're going to do that. If opponent uses Circle, change attacks. Now we have Shellmon, our mighty Koopa. And we'll just give him even more HP, because you can never have too much. Misfire. Palmon, I believe, doesn't do anything. However, now that we have this giant Hulk... Squeeze me. You have 60 DP, Tentamon, and a Yanmamon. And you put Snoke for it. You know what? Whatever. AI gonna AI. With Gabori, Snow Gaborimon and Normal Gaborimon. I think with all the Gaborimons except for Shamamon. Uh, all of their attacks are the same. They will always do the exact same amount of damage. So that's a thing. It's not necessarily good, it's not necessarily bad, it's just a thing. But with Rare, something neat we can do is Mill. So. Now he's down in Champion Blue. So that's good. Now he's down. He does. If we would, wouldn't have done that, he actually could have potentially gotten that champion. However, because we did do that, he did not get his champion. He's going to try and hit us for 230, I guess. Weird. And we're just going to slap him with our Shellmon. So, the reason... Uh, I'm sure somebody's curious. Uh, the reason why I chose to do this instead of, like, going and doing uh, one of the Digimon World games or Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories or something is... This game is very slow-paced. It doesn't... It doesn't have a lot of, like, actual attention span things that you have to do. Like, I don't have to focus a whole lot to play the game. I can just, just hang out, enjoy, have fun. Ooh, keep it you. We might actually just straight up make it so that we can get another shell one if this one dies magically. Yeah, that's going to be our plan. Because, uh... <clears throat> hey, and he, he's not doing nearly as much damage to us as we do to him. But yeah, we're going to hopefully be able to do as much of this as we can. How it goes, ow, but... Hopefully it's at least interesting enough to, uh, make you guys want to hang out, stick around. And if you enjoy it and want to see more, it's an easy, 
easy for you to do this a lot, because it's... You're just playing some Digimon. You're not doing nothing wrong. It's good, it's good. Uh, it doesn't really do anything for me. We'll use Spin Shatter instead of... We'd normally use Hydro Blaster here, but... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, what's this? Misfire. Yeah, I figure if we can do this kind of thing and the audio comes out well, and the video looks pretty good, and it's fun, then we'll definitely focus on doing this kind of thing for a little while, like between stream days. Ooh, we got another Madoki Betamon, a Mori Shellmon, and a Florizamon. As you can see, uh, the difference between them Shellmon gives 40. It, Requires 40 DP, but it gives you 30. Um, Flurries of Mon doesn't require a whole lot, but its attack power is huge compared to the other cards. Morris Shellmon is also a champion, but his circle is only 390, as opposed to Flurries of Mon is 550. Madoki Betamon, you'd more use him for his effect than the actual uh, creature himself. But, uh, I, I'm hoping that this actually is a solid run the whole time. And if it is, we can do other Digimon games, like I could do Digimon World DS, I could do Digimon World Data Squad, which isn't really the same as... It's a Digimon World game, but it doesn't play like the other ones. But considering that they all play differently, I don't really know what that means. Because it's like Digimon World 1 and Recoded and Next Order. And I think Redigitize. I'll play similarly. You have a partner. That partner digivolves randomly into other stuff. Opa. Uh, but, say, in uh, the Digimon story games, it's, it's an RPG. It is a true RPG. In every way. It plays like an RPG, it's got a thick story. All that good stuff. And how are you gonna self-destruct again? You've got 10 health. Your other two attacks do significantly more damage. I am so confused about that. You know what, let's keep this because of that. And we can get more health in the sand, that's always good. Ooh. Alright, alright. Yeah, so, there's gonna be a lot of weird instances with, uh, playing games like this, especially this game in particular, but, uh, we should have a lot of interesting videos if I can do this kind of thing and it actually goes well. And I'm hoping that we can actually do, like, maybe not hella long videos, but at least, like, Maybe like 30 minutes, give or take, just so that we get at least a few duels in before, uh, oops, I actually made him do damage, uh -oh. we can actually get a few duels in before, uh, we end an episode. Plus, uh, we'll only really be doing, like, the main parts of the game, so, like, we're not gonna go in and do, like, the super bosses and <laughs> all this other stuff. We're just gonna do the main story and whatever else I can remember to do on our way there. Ooh, it's a clear Agumon. 
We actually want to keep this hand, because they all do really good things. Unfortunately, I still can't teach you all of my fucking gear. I can't make my ancient gear better. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, snail. Uh, is there anything he can do to actually kill me here? Please use the same attack, and then attack by reaching zero, but especially to get his blue attack first. Double red. Okay, so yeah, now he can't really do anything, just in case. Just in case. Support jam. Put all of that raspberry jam all over your support. I'm gonna be honest, that actually doesn't sound that bad right about now. Just like some, some toast, some jam on it. That might actually be pretty nice. He's gonna evolve. Um. Is there anything I can reduce opponents' attack? I don't think this matters. You know what? I'm gonna play a Tomamon. Alright, it didn't matter. <laughs> well, now we'll play Snow Agumon. Because when we use Gabumon, we actually want to use Gabumon. want to make it useful, you know? Some of that good smack. I'm rare now. I just caught one of your cards. Hmm. This is awkward. Ooh, he, uh, Baromon, Bobomon dropped an ultimate. It's actually really good for me, because if Baromon doesn't drop that ultimate, uh... Oh, that's annoying. Okay, spin chatter. Oh, thank god. You're not gonna do any damage, so that's good. And I get 200 health. I was worried, because if he uses God Oman, I'm pretty sure I lose there. Uh, and then we'll just use Circle Hydro Blaster. Yeah, like, there's a lot of stuff we can do if we, uh... If, if we, if this decides it wants to work out the way I want it to work out. Because we'll be able to do a lot of stuff that I, I've always wished I could do. Like, not as long and stuff like this. But I wasn't able to do because my previous setup was super trash. Ooh, my Fuji man. He's pretty good. He doesn't do anything, but he's got a decent amount of health and a pretty good circle attack. Actually, all of his attacks are pretty good. And we got a Gomamon, which we might actually add over, like, Madoki Betamon or something. And... We'll see, you'll get to see two things that happen when you beat a thing. First, you get their unique pack based on where you are. In this case, we got an option pack for beating the tutorial city. We got a recovery floppy, recover 300, de-armor digivolve, so we armor digivolve Armadillomon into like Digmon, we can put him back, and he gains a bunch of health for some reason. <clears throat> and circle hitter, if the opponent uses circle, we get a huge boost, which could potentially be really good. Then, for the majority of them, you also get an ultimate. In this case, we got a blue. <laughs> I don't know why we're using we're using we have a rare deck, but <laughs> whatever. We got the ultimate blue Maramon. You'd think he'd be fire, but no. You know, considering he's made out of blue fire. But hey, this uh, that actually went really well. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to edit our deck to add in that blue Maramon. We have two things to add. 
Uh, we're gonna want to take out Nistra Mojimon. Uh, for... Yeah, that's heist. For you. And we're gonna want to take out... Madoki Bodemon, Bodemon. For Gizemon. Actually, we'll take both out. And they are Govamon. Yeah. Oh, we have a Mamemon. That wasn't in our deck for some reason. <laughs> Why? We'll actually change uh, the other Nistromojimon to Mamemon. Just so that we have two ultimate options. Unfortunately, we have way more stuff that can go into Blue Marimon than we do Mamemon, but. That is good. Really good. Um, like, it doesn't look like we did all that much to our deck. We only added three cards, three or four cards. But, we actually did do a lot. And as this is a card collection game, they want you to collect some more cards. So we're gonna get one more option pack before we move to any other areas. And, uh, it's actually really important to do that because we want to make sure that we can get enough cards to rightfully make our deck as strong as it needs to be. So, like, I want to make sure I can get another Digivolution card because those are really good. <laughs> And I want to make sure I can get more healing cards, because, sweet god, do I need those. <laughs> Alright. So this is this is where Gizamon comes in real handy. Normally, oh, we're going to do 330 damage. With Gizamon, we're going to do 660, and there ain't shit he can do about it. So we kill him first shot. Like it's nothing. That's one of those things where, when you see it, you know why it's there. Because... It doesn't seem like, oh... Uh, you're boosting your damage a little bit, who cares? It's, it's a lot bigger of a deal when you realize that... Um, Digimon in this game don't necessarily have a huge amount of HP. So... Getting to, like, bump out all of their health in one hit is huge, especially if it's above Rookie. It's like, with the Rookies, yeah, you can, they don't really always have all that much health. However, they also aren't that strong. <laughs> I say as our champion is 10 uh, ten toward his circle stronger than their, their Rookie, but, uh, like, the difference in damage, even if it's so slight, is huge. So, that's one of those things that makes it actually feel like an RPG, even though it is a trading card game. But having that little, hey, you do huge amounts of damage now, is always just a big benefit. So, like, if you were doing, uh, you were doing a run against Ifrit in a Final Fantasy game, you could try to fight him with, like, Rama. It wouldn't necessarily be the worst idea. However, it would obviously be way more beneficial to just hit him with Shiva. Like, if you're gonna use a summon against Ifrit, you're going to use the strongest summon against Ifrit. Because, like, Ifrit is fire in those games. Fire takes base damage from lightning, so that's cool. You're going to hit him, it's going to hurt, but you're not going to kill him. However, if you swap it, and instead of using, um... In, instead of using Brahma, you use Shiva, 
he takes two times damage from Shiva, so you're going to be hitting him really hard for seemingly no reason. And it's it's not going to seem like it's like the end all be all. Suddenly the duel, like the fight is completely turned on its head. But it really is, like, those little things can have a huge, huge impact. Because, oh, getting hit by two times damage on something that doesn't have a whole lot of health can be an awful lot of damage. Unfortunately, he's doing 480 to me, so that sucks. You know what? Vision Blinder. This sounds stupid, but he can lower my circle to zero. And he can counter my triangle, so... Next best thing, just wrap up with my X. It's not gonna be as, as much of a killing blow as I'd like. Like, I, if I could have boosted my circle a bit, 100% would have killed him, but... Can't win them all. But if I can... If I can boost anything... Then, uh... <laughs> wow, you don't even have an effect. You know what? Just, just to see what happens. Attack change! This is gonna hurt a lot. <laughs> Your attack change is how you killed, dude. It's amazing. That's the kind of thing I just love to see in this kind of game. You're not 100% sure if you can win, and then they do something stupid, and you win, like, in an amazing fashion. Hey, I'm back to 1450. You're only hitting me for 120. I'm hitting you for a lot more. Yeah, th this is the kind of game where you play it and it doesn't seem like you're doing huge things all the time, but it feels like you are. Like, winning a duel is always going to feel great, even if you're only winning a duel against, like, tutorial enemies. So, like, it's not a big win, but it's a win, damn it. <laughs> uh, also, a thing I, I can note is if I'm doing stuff like this, where I'm using my piece, my my new setup, I can uh, I can have people from the Discord join, and we can do the Pokemon thing, Pokemon Showdown, and we can do leg, uh, not Legacy Duelist. Uh, well, I mean, we can do that too. But we can do, um, Dev Pro. Like, we can do tons of stuff. Like, how if this works, if this video works the way I want it to, we open up an entirely new realm for my content, my, my YouTube, uh, eventually my Twitch. Like, it just gets a huge boost. Because it'll go from just, we stream on the weekends. To, we can do videos, maybe even eventually stream whenever we want. Like I, I can do, I can do this tonight. I can do, I can up, and then I can upload it tomorrow, and then I can do another one on, like, on uh, next week. Rinse, repeat, continue until I've done whatever I wanted to do. There's... Even if it's just little, little things, like little differences and stuff I can do, it's, it's, it, 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 it's a huge opportunity for the channels. Because, yeah, we might not, we might not be huge as a channel or a community, but we at least know that there's more content to come and it's only going to get more interesting as we go because we 
least have more stuff we can do. It's not just occasionally some PS2 or some PS3 stuff, maybe a video here, another one there. We can do more of what we want to do. We can enjoy what we're doing more the more we do it. And then instead of it just being, well, we're, we're, we're playing, um, we're playing the same game for the third time this week. We're, we're playing some unique stuff whenever we have the time. And that's huge. Doesn't sound like it, but it really is. Can make something go from kind of interesting to, to the community to maybe a ton of people want to join and be part of the community. You never know. Because little, little victories can go a long way. And whenever something little goes a long way, it always makes everyone else feel good. But, uh, the topic of what we are doing uh, this is probably going to be the last one. We'll end it. I'll see how it went. If it all goes well, this should be uploaded uh, before stream day. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> if it doesn't go well, then we'll try again later. I'll try a different setup. I'll try it. Like, we'll figure it out. We'll make it work. But for now, the goal is just to try something new. We enjoy it. Awesome. And if it turns out that it's not really what people are interested in, at least we know. It's not like end of the world. There's no apocalypse day scenario. We're trying something new. See how it goes. And have fun while we do it. Because if I'm enjoying what we're doing, and you're enjoying watching what we're doing, then everyone's gonna have a lot more fun when we do different videos and stuff. As opposed to if it's just like, well, I'm having fun, but nobody cares to watch, then nobody's watching the stuff, and if nobody's watching, then in a way, all of the work I put into the videos kind of gets shot in the foot, and nobody wants all of their work to get shot in the foot. Like, if you went to work and your boss was like, yo, you, you finished your, your work on time, but we're not sending it out. Good luck, try again next time probably be understandably best because that's that is some baby back BS but if you go to work and you finish your work on time or maybe even early and your boss is like way to go you get a raise you're gonna be fucking stoked <laughs> so I'm hoping that this kind of content will be the little thing that really helps my channel move up from being just a guy doing videos to an entertainer, showing people how to be happy, whether they're in a good situation bad situation or somewhere in between. You can always be happy if you got the right people behind you. So that's that's what I'm hoping for. Hoping everyone can be happy. If I make you guys smile, that's a huge win for me. Huge. And if if there's a chance maybe maybe you had a horrible day. Like who knows, maybe, maybe you were having a great day, everything was going swell, 
And then it turns out that someone you were very close to may have passed away. Yeah, that's going to be really upsetting. But it doesn't have to be the thing that ruins your day. Because there's always a way around sadness. Whether that be through laughter, through a different world, or through drowning yourself in tortillas, or Doritos, or choose your favorite chip flavor and insert it here. Like that, everyone has their own way. Some people just stress eat, and some people just take a nap. <laughs> it depends on who you are. It depends on how you enjoy living your life to the fullest for you. It'll always be the thing you're looking for if it's something that makes you happy. And for me, I have really bad anxiety, so making you guys happy, in turn, makes me happy. Because I get to make people happy, maybe you're having a bad day, maybe you're having a great day, and you just want someone to, someone to laugh at, someone to poke fun at while you do your thing. Who knows? But maybe I'm the Canadian for you. I can hear a little... little Cheeto dust in the back... in the back of the bag. To make it just so finger naked good. Both levels are C. That doesn't matter, because you are a rookie. A rookie who is about to get bent by my blue fireman. Alright. That got real near the end, but you know what? I had a great time doing this video. If you guys had a great time watching, freeze that like button. That's gonna be my thing now. Instead of smashing it, punching it, poking it, whatever, freeze it. So all of the power and ice in your soul Freeze that bitch solid before you shatter it. That'll be your thing. We will become... I don't know. The Glacial Army or some shit. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But anyway, that gives us our second option pack in that pack. We got two medium recovery floppies. On attack power is half, yeah, but we gain 500 health. And a rare altar, which is great. Yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed watching Hangout. If you enjoy the video, obviously, just Arctic Blizzard, the like button, just freeze it and shatter it. If you're new on the channel and you want to be one, of us, one of the frozen warriors of the Great White. Do you a favor, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. All new subscribers are incredibly appreciated. All of the likes are incredibly appreciated. And you know what? If you have access to going somewhere where you can get something cold. Maybe you watch this in the morning. You don't feel like having a coffee, it's too hot. Get yourself a Froster. Whether it be from Circle K, 7-Eleven, Sonic, wherever. Get yourself something cold, something frozen. And prepare for life to cool you off. Your day to be more chill than ever. With that, I hope everybody enjoyed. Check out all the links in the description below. You can join us on the Facebook page. Figure out what to do with that eventually. You can join us on Twitch. You can uh, follow us or subscribe if you so. Please, I I'm going to try to guarantee doing streams Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. Maybe even during the day if I'm feeling feisty. And, uh... 
you can join our Patreon. So if, if you aren't a fan of Twitch, you want to support the channel, you want to donate to us, you can use Patreon. If you want, donations are not needed. You don't need to support the Patreon. You don't need to sub on Twitch. You can just hang out, sub on YouTube, follow us on Twitch, or, and join the Discord. Hang out, talk to us. And maybe in the future, if this video turned out well, we could do Pokemon Showdown or Dev Pro or whatever. And everyone can have their turn to fight one of the lords of the cold. Hope everybody enjoyed. Good night and good luck.